We are back with Alan Gordon, who claims most pain is in your mind, and orthopedic spine surgeon, Dr. Human Melamed. Alan, coming back to you. You say that doctors are treating chronic pain all wrong, and the issues goes back to the lack of training in medical school. Tell us about that. You know, Felicia, the woman we just saw, uh -huh. was diagnosed with a four millimeter disc herniation in her neck. She had a lot of pain around that and a lot of fear around it. So all we did was we helped to teach her brain to reinterpret these sensations as safe, and the pain went away. That was four years ago. She's still pain free. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a lot of respect for physicians, yeah. but there is a fundamental misunderstanding of chronic pain in the medical community. We need a paradigm shift in the way that chronic pain is treated and understood, and we need it now. There's just too many people suffering. Yeah, well, that's a very interesting point. Dr. Melamed, to you, you disagree with what Alan says about the lack of training for chronic pain. Is that right? I think, you know, yes. I mean, I think we learn about pain, you know, from, uh, you guys know, from first two years in med school, we learn about pain receptors, the pharmacology, so we understand that. And then during the two years in medical school, our last two years, we're on rotation. Every rotation, I mean, we have patients who have pain of something, some kind of pain, something. So we are familiar exactly. with the pain. And exactly. then we all go to our respective yep. residency, whether it's plastic surgery or uh, psychiatry. Yep. I mean, there's impossible for a patient not to be seeing us because of, uh, because of pain. But I do agree with Alan that we do need people understanding more about the psychology of the pain and start utilizing more, especially among surgeons, because I think there's too much spine surgery that is happening and other musculoskeletal procedures where patients don't need. And I think we need some better education for that. But at the same time, what I always say is that the physical exam, the history, the imaging, everything has to line up before you can say, okay, this is the problem. Sure, you could have a disc herniation, and I've had patients, I'm like, that's not your pain. That's your scoliosis is not causing your pain, sure. So yes, more education, with uh, understanding pain is better, but I, I don't agree that doctors don't know about pain. I think we know a lot about pain. It's about educating all the providers out there on how, especially spine surgeon, on how to talk to patients. I think that sums it up uh, pretty darn well, and I want to end it on that note, yeah. that, that we hear what Alan is saying, and there is definitely some uh, evidence-based information out mm -hmm. there that certain pain with proper yeah. uh, guidance, uh, call it psychological yep. intervention, if you will, but in concert yep. with what we learned in medical school about pain and structural issues, I think it's a meeting of those two schools, yeah. meeting of the minds. There's always room a balanced for, approach. for a balanced yes. approach. There's always room for improvement, and there's always room for, for more research and study, but... Uh, Alan, I think you're, you're on to something there, and thanks again for uh, sharing that with us. And Dr. Melamed, as always, uh, a pleasure to have you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much thanks for having me. Thank you.